supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I just got, you know, I don't agree with the judges. I don't understand how only one judge had Marv winning. But. Hey, listen, you know, man, we'll, we'll, get, in, we'll, 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 get, we'll get into all that. Let's handle business first, Cece. Give a shout outs to our black owned sponsor. Hey, CV. Yes, we have a black owned sponsor, and y'all already know what it is Peace Watches. We talk about it all the time. Y'all see the news. You know, it's getting crazy out here in these streets. So definitely, please, 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 please make sure and definitely call for backup. You can use Peace Watchers. You can download the app. You can check them out at peacewatchers.com if you want more information. If you want some, you know, people that give their reviews on the app, I know I'm one of those people too. I like to see what other people say before I just download some on my phone. Definitely check it out. And like I said, it's getting crazy out here in these streets. It's not, it never hurts to have back. That's a fact. Uh, yes. Man. So, salute to Peace Watchers and all that they do. And they also are looking in different ways to update the app as well. So, well said. That's man. cool. Salute to them, man. Let's get the show on the road, man. LTBR Daily. We are here, man. First and foremost, I want to say <laughs> I, I see you saw something in the chat. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it Somebody go. Somebody said it was not 50 k worth a bar. Hey, listen, let it go. Let it go. We got, listen, let them speak. Let them speak. We, we got a show to run, right? You let you them chatter. The you let them chatter, and let's, and we do our job, and we come back to them, right? Um, I got to admit, though, CC, this past weekend, between URL and King of the Dot, was a fantastic weekend for the culture. Fantastic oh, weekend. Oh, yes. Like, Even though we're black right now, but yes, it definitely was <laughs> um, a good weekend. I think everybody in Bad Rep won. So, especially everybody but you know, Detroit. like me, and I don't care about the leagues. I'm just here for a good, spicy battle yeah. and good competition and a good back and forth. I feel like we got that Saturday and we got that Sunday. I want to throw it to the people, man. Um, I, I want to ask two questions. One, what was your biggest takeaway from the entire weekend, both URL and King of the Dot? Like, what's the biggest thing that stood out to you from any performance you saw? And second, it's still early in the year. Let's make some hot takes. Let's do it. Who's going to be champion of the year? Who's going to be most improved? Who's going to fall off? Who's going to have a breakout year? Let's let's do it. Let's put it on wax now. Let's just have some fun. You well, get the narrative started. Let's 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 let's. The narratives is starting. Hey, listen, man. Let's just let's just predict the future for a little bit. It's fun. All right, some people saying um, Don Marino's jacket was my biggest takeaway. Sheesh. Easy and Gaddis was my biggest takeaway. Easy's here to stay. Bad Rap's going to be great in 2021, but drugs isn't. <laughs> oh, my God. King of the Dot has the best event I've seen in years. That was a really good event. They went five for five. Gaddis is the GOAT. She shouldn't be battling women. Wow. King of the Dot has a better presentation. That's debatable. Easy talking was talking to T-Top. DNA... Uh, two one easy wasn't authorized to talk to T Top like this. We don't need no more Don Marino. Shout out to Ooh. Dougie. T Top two oh. one clearly twerks return. Clone is strong up and coming talent. Yeah, Clone is amazing. Shout out to Gary. Volume seven is gonna be fire. Real deal and Sharon was impressive. Gaddis and Vixen for Queen of the Midwest. Listen, man, the people, the people were really look, happy this weekend. Got, what up, though, Chi-Town? Gaddis, look, I told y'all to be just, just, just chill. I know a lot of people felt some type of way about her return versus Lady Caution and, and the one-rounder. I, I told y'all to She's front. just testing a few things to make sure she's on the right track, okay? And now it's kill mode. Real, real Don't quick, do that again. I want to give a quick shout-out. Yoshi, Yoshi G is in the building. Easy to block captain. Easy to block captain in the building. What up, Dick Cat? And congratulations what up, though, to you. DK? I yeah. got you still winning two one, but you know I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a second watch. Yeah, we all we all know Easy handled. We need his a business. second watch. Easy handled his business yesterday, and and mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud. I mean Saturday, I'm extremely proud of him. You know, Dick I mean? That's a fact. Look, I agree with you last night, though, friends, that easy. I, I think once the stage is open back and we start, you know, selling out these these venues again, like the good old days, I think easy going to be ready. He got a slogan like he was saying yesterday. I definitely agree. He got that slogan. He got that energy. And a lot of people like what he do, how he talk. 
Easy gonna be ready. The stage will tell us everything. Facts, CJC. And no Danny slander. I don't know if Tata already said it, but we're not. No, no Danny slander. <laughs> All right, you know, it, it wouldn't be me if I didn't jump out the window for just quite a second, right? Easy the Black Captain battles T-Top, has a classic with T-Top. He wants chess next, right? He's been saying this since November. He wants chess. So if he gets chess and he beats T-Top in chess in the first quarter of 2021, is there a chance that Easy the Black Captain could insert himself in candidacy of champion of the year on his sophomore year? We said this the end of last year. If Easy was to have another year like he did in 2020, he can arguably be like rookie of the year and then champion of the year. Like that can arguably it's still January. <laughs> so I'm trying not to jump out the gate, but he could he on his he he don't he started 2021 right. He definitely started 2021 right. He started right. 2021 right. CC, if he gets chess, Geechee, maybe Loso, Calico, those five battles, that's a champion of the year kind of resume. On paper. Correct. You're right. But we we all know, we all know it's about the performances. The, what you did with it though. That's a fact. You know, Jerry West on paper, you would be like, oh my God. He is champion of the year. Yeah. But we know the outcome of the battles. You you said it. You did and say jump it. out the window too quick. So Easy, Easy says Loso's got out. to wait. The legends are coming out. Ooh. He talking spicy to your Latino bro, bro. He talking spicy. Yes. Latino gang, what the fuck I gotta say? I need a picture of that one. Yes. <laughs> Latino gang, where you at though? <laughs> <laughs> did we give did we Easy give his flowers, flowers yet in the yet show? In the show we, we Easy gets his flowers even when he's not even when he's not in the audience. Easy gets a lot of praise. Yo, yes. I'm not gonna um, lie though. Easy and Loso still a fire battle, but I'm I don't I'm not mad at I'm not mad at Easy. If Geechee and Calico's knocking on my door, I'm not battling Loso. Look, I um, you know, I had like a little quick combo with Cal. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cal because he know I'm back home for the little bitty. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to my brother Cal and be like, "Yo, you gonna have to, you gonna have to battle easy before the end of the year and Geechee." So I'm already about, I'm already in his ear, y'all. Cal got to battle Geechee and Cal got to see easy, like in 2021. Period. If, an, if another young, talented battle rapper that is creating their legacy defeats another Detroit legend, I don't know what's gonna happen to your heart. Mm. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what happened on Sunday was not correct. And I, I stay on, I stand on that. I you stand on that. But you know, everybody, the, you know, everybody want to be us, but don't want to be us. That's what that is in Detroit. You know, Detroit versus everybody. We all know what the verse everybody slogan was from. We know, we know, we know, we, we know. It's let, backhanded let, love for Detroit. I see it. Let's talk it's a little cool. bit about St. Amar, CC, because I got the rant about it. But we didn't, we didn't actually get to hear how you felt. I mean, we know, right? We could assume, but we didn't hear your actual words. Okay, so I said this on Twitter. I said, I'm not mad at Saint. Like, if this is a judge battle, the battle rappers come and do their thing. Now, they can't, you know, unless it's this or some, you know, the fix. Then you could get upset with the battler. But this was not a fix. And I know some people were trying to say, oh, like, of course, they're going to give it to Saint. But I don't feel like it was a fix. I just feel like the judges saw the battle different than I saw it. Now, I will say this. Marv left the door open in the third. Now, the first round was very close. I edged it to Marv after the hammer pants and the little, the little, the little dang. I gave it to Marv after that. I was like, oh, you got it. <laughs> you got it. But then the second I felt like Saint, it, he was too light. It was too many fat jokes. It didn't really have a lot of substance compared to what Marv spit. So I gave that to Marv. So I had a 2 all going into the third. But I do see that Marv's third was a little light. Saint's third was crazy. And if you give Saint the first, instead of what I said, Marv edging the first, then obviously you're going to have Saint 2-1. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I prefer Marv's first 
over Saint. So that's why I had it two one Marv. But I'm not mad at Saint. You know, I rock with Saint. I've been saying for two almost two years that Saint he gonna be the next one out of KLTV. He gonna be a superstar out of KLTV, and they will be some fools if they let that boy leave and don't come back. They be some fools. Hey, listen, I've been saying it just as long as you have. You know, I rock with Saint. And I, I said it, King of the Dot, if this young man wins the tournament, the, the the very next thing you do on that Monday is you send that guy a PDF with a contract <laughs> of multi multiple battles with a big bag. All right? You don't waste any time. You don't fuck around. Okay? You do not fuck around. Look, when you got that yeah. free agent that's dangling, right, and you want him to be your franchise player, he's the first person you meet with. All right? he's You meet with him before the, 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 the negotiation of day starts. All right? So when the deal already know, start, the deal's already the done. The inbox is full of requests. And that's how I'm going to say. That's a the fact. inbox is full of requests. I want to ask the so people. So you better make sure you clang clang him. Okay. And this is for you guys Locking out back. there. I want to I ask the people. Sure. Now that Saint is the winner of the Grand Prix tournament, he went through five battles. His opponents was RX, Active, So Severe, Disaster, and Marv 1 for a 50K he be two bag. Legends. He'd be two legends along the way. Where does Saint rank now after this victory of this tournament? Let's talk about it. Is he now, in your eyes, a top five guy? A top ten? Top fifteen? Where Where do you guys have Saint? Overall, I want to hear what the people have to say. Ooh. Saint is king of the dots. Luca, that would work if he was white. <laughs> he had a cakewalk along the way. Get that hate out your heart. I'm gonna make a T-shirt that says "Get the hate out your He's heart." Top for five King... Tuesdays and right, I like this. Top five and King of the Dot, but top ten overall. I like that. Top five and King of the Dot. Juwan says top forty. Damn. So much hate in here. He's the Look. same as Fonz. He just won a tournament. Don't don't just say just won a tournament. Don't just say just won a tournament. See, this is why easy. Do you see this? Do you see it as easy? I hope you win a tournament easy so people can say, he, hey, he just won a tournament. Y'all act like that's easy. God damn, Especially y'all. if the tournament has sprinkled legends throughout the brackets. That's I am appalled easy. here. I am absolutely appalled, man. This tournament was not but- easy. Excuse me. He is number nine overall. It's very specific. I like that. Somebody says Saint is barely top 20. As long as you have him there. You know what I'm saying? As long as he's there for you, I'm cool with that. He's number 20. Shit, man. You know what I wish, CC? I wish Kid Chaos could have went through this exact same run so we could see if the energy is the same. You know, if Kid Chaos no, beats Disaster and Marv. because we all know if Kid why Chaos, it's a If Kid shade. Chaos beats Disaster and Marv, you know, they talk more, give him Lux next. We all know why this little shade. I don't even know if Lil Reggie up in here yet, but I know if he is. His Twitter fingers is itching to say what he gonna say. <laughs> Hardcore flavor says Saint is not over Suge. I, I, I don't. I'm not sure if you've been watching the same Suge we've been watching. I'm not sure. Oh, what? The same Suge that lost to Nun Nun. <laughs> the same that lost to Jay. The same that lost to uh. Hands. Pretty much everybody last year. What? Suge's yeah, <laughs> like, been a lick for a while. This past, in 2020. Thank you, Burn. That's little, oh, little Reggie in the building. Kid Chaos did not have a home cry with gas every battle. This is me and little Reggie's riff. When KOTV come along, this one we do not see eye to eye. Juwan says Saint had to go through RX and active, and we giving him credit. Yeah, because he also had to go through disaster and Marv One. Oh my God. <sighs> You know what I'm saying? I would say this. I, as far as KOTD specifically, I'll put him in the top five. I can't put him one because, you know, real deal, he had an impressive showing to win back, you know, the belt. You know, not the chain no more, the belt. So I I, I can't say one, but he definitely top five. Mm-hmm. He definitely top five. Is Overall... He- is he more is he more accomplished than the UM1 rookies? I don't know. I, I that's hard to say because I feel like easy font well not not fonts, but easy sick KC, they put in a lot of work in 2020. You know what I'm saying? 
And I know Saint has been battling longer than 2020. Like he he been he's already battled Geechee, you know. So he he been out here for a little minute. Check out this especially message. Especially on the West Coast scene, but check out, like, check out, check out this message. Ultimate Man is one had Squeako, Rubando, and Your Honor, but you guys want to downplay King of the Dot. Oh, talk that shit. Talk. 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 Y'all, we almost let Rubando in the finals. Yeah, literally, Rubando we was a choke let away. We almost Rubando go to the finals. Rubando was a choke away from being in the finals, guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. Gunpowder Pat, where he at? I haven't heard of a bando or a gunpowder in a mini. There was some walking licks in UM1 too. We gotta keep we gotta keep it fair. Thank you for that point, uh, update guy. You know, we gonna might have to send you some merch. <laughs> we might have to send you some merch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got DNA Boy, coming. Thank you. We got DNA coming on in the next ten minutes. Um CC, so we were, ignoring the stars of Ultimate Madness One? No, I'm no, we're, not. we're not. We're not. We're absolutely but y'all, not. Y'all ignoring. Who y'all ignoring. That y'all are ignoring he Saint. That's the problem. We're, yeah, we're, y'all, y'all. I mean, he had to go against Diz with all the shenanigans going on, and then he beat to the judges. Thank the you, judges said he beat Marv. So, come on now. Shoot, come on now. Now, if he would have lost officially <laughs> to Marv, then, you know, I, I, I can no, entertain no, Reggie, we're not, we're not comparing rosters. We're comparing, to- we're comparing tournaments. Maybe. Comparing tournaments. Oh, shit. Dev the Demon's in the building. His battle with franchise just dropped. If y'all watched that, skip forward to his third round. Wasted. Dev, we gonna we gonna have to talk to you because I don't know who, you need a manager. You need a manager, Dev, because I would have never allowed you to have a a, a Henny and a Remy bottle open at your while you battling. Who? Why would you do that? Hmm. Some of y'all need some managers. Some of y'all need some managers, but you know what? I couldn't manage y'all because y'all wouldn't listen to me. Big shout outs to y'all would hate my ass. I'm big a shout outs to Misfit. Misfit in I'm gonna the tell building. you what you need to know. Uh Cece, there was a call out over the weekend, and you felt very adamant about this call out. In fact, you was not happy about it at all. And I actually want to hear your thoughts on it a little more in detail now because I got to read some of your messages. I read your tweets. We text about it, right? But after Gaddis had a fantastic performance against RX, she went and called out my verse. And you were not you were not satisfied. No, I'm not. <laughs> you you were not satisfied. What up, Delphit? What up, Delphit? Another friend to the show. Hope your 2021's going good. Hope it's going good so far. But um Talk to me. Why why were you not I'm happy not with this call out? This one, bro. No, my verse shouldn't get a Gaddis play. Mm. My verse, we've already talked about this. My verse got to con- she got to work her way up to some of these big, big places that she won't. We got to. We got to. Because if she burns coming out the gate, that is going to be a wrap. So I, it's like you, we really trying to do you a favor, sis, and have you, you know, work your way up. Instead of trying to come, go all the way up and then you have a, a, a horrible fall and crash and burn and then everybody definitely not going to want to hear it. I don't think, no. I feel like Gaddis, I agree with a lot of people in the chat. I feel like Gaddis needs to battle like a dude. I would love to see her there, on Kings versus Queens. There's a message here from Misfit. Misfit said, Gaddis kept it a buck with me. She just wants some bodies. Well, that's an easy body. That's what she wants it. <laughs> I, I just don't see this. I mean, come on now. I don't see this going, my verse. Th- are we really going to say that my verse can edge or win versus Gaddis? I don't see it. I, mean, I don't see that happening. I'm not saying she can win, but an easy body? That's... Wow. No, I'm just asking. I'm just I'm just asking. Did y'all not watch what she did on Sunday? She was incredible on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Cece, did y'all not you... watch what she just did on Sunday? And my boo RX, she did a great job. 
I feel like she did not. She did not. Da, 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 da. She didn't try. The people are saying the way I am with Miss Hustle is how you are with my verse. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not doing that. Hey, but I listen. I don't have no hate in my heart for my verse. I'm just a realistic person. I feel like my verse does not battle. She's not active. So to give her all these big names that she was asking for is crazy to me. She got to work her way up. And to be fair to the other ladies who are putting in work. We not just gonna give my verse a a Jerry West type of resume, and she not, she not putting in no work like a Yoshi, a Casey, a Coffee, or whoever, a Vixen, a Flames. We not uh, official. Yo, Cece, I was doing I was doing some I was doing some I was doing some absolutely think, not. I was doing some thinking last night. Absolutely not. And it came to my conclusion: <clears throat> it is an interesting parallel between Gaddis and Misfit. They both took five years off of battle rap, and if you notice, they both were performing as if they never left, and they're, and they're battling Look, at a high level. It's almost like they're in more shape because of that five-year hiatus. Look, I feel like Fit and Gaddis is showing y'all both how to return because that's a good point. Fit came back and got a, a nasty body. She got a historically statistical nasty body. Battles. She got a million view battle on the Queen of the Ring channel in the pay-per-view era. Like, you know how difficult that is? And that's a fact, Tata. They were always dope. But you know, sometimes when you kind of sit down for a little bit, you know, it take it takes some people a few battles to get back into the groove of things. But Misfit definitely had a good return. Gaddis is having a good return overall. She, you know, she did her thing versus Lady Caution. Shout out to Lady Caution. And I, I remember talking about it on the podcast, France. You was not happy about her battling that one rounder with Lady Caution, but I'm glad she did because she she made she made sure that she was on the right track with the pen and what bad rap is today because bad rap has changed in five years. In five years, bad rap has evolved and changed. Oh, Fit, that's what I Miss Fit. Let it be known, I'm a cook Gaddis eventually. Change the lower third, Gaddis <laughs> versus Miss Fit. Set it up, book it. Period. That's what the lower third should be. Let's start to the That's what I'm talking. Oh, now oh. you're giving me what I want. That's what I'm talking about. The G string says it. fit thirty easy. Tata says ASAP. Put it in a volume. Farah mm. is with rich dollars now thanks to fit. Oh man, fit easy thirty. Look, come on, fit talk. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. I just feel like my verse. She just needs a. She needs like, yeah, she needs a few battles before we get to some big, big, big names. And she's calling out like, what she, who she called out last year? Bird? Mm-mm. We, we, no. Nah. Uh, I don't think that's going to be, that's not in her best interest is to take Verb. Yikes. And you know how Verb be talking to these ladies. Yeah, Verb be talking. Have y'all been watching his IG? Verb, 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 verb has a nice way of speaking to the to the ladies. <laughs> he is ignorant, and I don't have time. Yoshi, I love it. <laughs> Yoshi is a fan. She fucks with it, man. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> this is incredible. Let me share this broadcast. This is incredible. Re- Make that decision, okay, mama. That's all I'm saying with my verse. I feel like she needs to get, get, get a few looks before she gets a a big name. That's all I'm saying. There's no hate. Right, well, I want over verse rock. Me too, Tata. We uh we got DNA coming on in four minutes. In the meantime, Me too, Tata. Well, we because uh, whatever he was doing versus Cal ain't gonna work versus Tay Rock. Well, we hang tight. And I think Tay Rock is mad. Well, we wait for DNA. Let's uh, let's let's close off of this here. Um, New Jersey Twerks return has been announced, right? We Ooh. talked a little, we talked a little bit about it on Saturday, but now let's talk about it a little bit more in depth. New Jersey Turk is returning to Jay the Nightwing. I think our person misspelled. We're gonna have to fix that. Um, but Jay the Nightwing versus New Jersey Twerk is this the right opponent for him to return to? What do you guys think about this battle? Who? What are they saying out there? Ah, uh, J21. 
a perfect opponent to return to. Since mm. lawyer, fire emojis, J30, twerk 2-1. It's a setup. Tell us why, JP. A it's sacrifice, a setup? tell us, Dave. Mm. J is a dead man walking. That's the first one I'm seeing. Okay. There's going to be a battle of the year. Ooh. Ooh. Those are strong words. Those are strong words. Twerk 2-1, debatable. I, I I I I feel like yeah. My initial thought, I'm like, oh, this could go either way. This can go either way. They definitely want Twerk to win on the return, Mama. Twerk sound like a changed man. What happens if they both choke? Don't put that energy out there. Don't put that energy in the world. It's a hit job against Nightwing. Twerk. Well, we gotta 30. be honest. We gotta be honest. How Twerk left us you know last impressions listen twerk's last battle on your row was swamp so if twerk battled whether it was two months after <clears> that <throat> or two years after that that was still his last battle anything after that performance doesn't guarantee you a tay rock a hit man any of these big names all right so i think coming back to nightwing was a is a perfect match um it's also a match that i would have liked at any point of twerk's career as well because i like their styles Look, I, I I see this going either way. I feel like Jay got to play this. He got to have his game plan tight. I feel like there's certain things that Jay can talk to him. There's certain ways Jay can talk to him. But, again, I, 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 don't, I would want to think that Twerk is going to come back and we don't have to worry about any chokes. Or performances. I will, I want I I really want that to happen. I want to see a good twerk. Yeah, I gotta hold my reservation still. I need to see it though mm -hmm. because um he does have a really strong track record of it. So if I'm going by the trends, I, I would have to assume that he still may have some difficulties, but. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to I'm going to wait and see. But Nightwing has been proving and is damn near five and one on the league. He's six and one. Like this guy has been fucking cooking on the league. All right. Jay can look Jay. Look, Jay versus sick is a great example of what twerk is going to have to try to like. Look, that that's one of everybody's favorite here. Like Jay is. Jay can go crazy, and uh, and again, like I've been saying about these rookies from last year, they not scared of y'all. They not scared of y'all. They don't care about all oh, like this person has battled. Da, da, da. He's the. They don't care. Easy don't give a damn about your resume and what you've done. They're not scared of y'all. They're not intimidated about y'all. Y'all could be the great. Y'all could be some dope pants, or y'all could have like y'all could be like the biggest performance. They don't care. They not scared of none of that. Jay gonna come in there too and not be scared another day. He gonna do what he, he gotta do what he do best. Now, you know, twerk. We know what a hundred percent twerk look like. Okay, if we can get a hundred percent twerk, do this we could really? definitely be. Do I we... could definitely see this being battle of the night. I could definitely see this oh, being. I, I want to push back on that statement. Do we really know what a hundred percent twerk looks like? He's never have it fully together for a full three rounds. Yeah. Him versus um, I, him versus JC. Yeah, that was that was almost four years ago, CC. I know, I know. That was the only one I could think of off the top of my head. <laughs> but that, but that's a good one. I'll give you that. That definitely is a from start to finish. Strong New Jersey twerk, but I I can't I can't be comfortable with your peak being almost half a decade ago. I mean, I I, I hear what you're saying. Him versus Verb was 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 solid. Still choked around there. Solid. Still choked around. You know, I mean, he was amazing against Verb the next oh, two, but damn. Uh, but I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, there's there's so many cold emotions where it's like uh, he's never have it all the way together. For a full three rounds, and yeah, CJC. I said almost half a decade. That's what four years is, right? Almost there. God damn it! Let me make it sound good. Let me make it sound good. Just let it happen. You know how I speak already. I feel like you know what? I feel like God has a way of humbling people, and you know, I think everybody's just excited to see that twerk is is healthy. You know, 
I think everybody's excited to see him come back. You know, and maybe he's not going to take this for granted anymore. Because I feel like that was the consensus of towards, you know, lackluster performances that he was doing for not just one year. He was doing he was he was on some bullshit for years. Okay. A couple of years. Okay, let's be honest. You know, I think he's I, I want to say that Twerk's not gonna take this for granted. And he's had time to recover, get his mind right. And from what I heard, he wasn't gonna come back until he was ready to come back. So now that we see him being announced for return, I have high hopes for Twerk. Um, I have high hopes for Twerk. I hope me- he just I just I just wanna see him show up at this point. See the message here by uh Slimothy. He says, You don't feel like J- uh Twerk is going to smoke Jay. I mean, I have no indications to believe that because Jada Nightwing has been steamrolling all of his opponents. And I will, I'm he not really going to lie. I'm not going to lie. There is a fair criticism on Jay's opponents. Like, he's battling Rubando. He's battling Sugar the Choke. He's battling Saga that's stumbling everywhere, right? Like, I get that. If you want to discredit some of his opponents for not being as powerful, but forget his opponents. Just look at Jay. His content gets better battle after battle after battle. And now you're putting him in front of somebody that. Gave him advice before he actually took off, right? Somebody that he really admired and I don't want to say looked up to, but just really respected, right? So now this like you're leveling up, you're getting better every battle. This is your probably your biggest battle to date, and you're going to be in front of somebody that's gonna bring the best out of you. Oh fuck yeah! Like you expect to see a very dangerous Jay the Nightwing. I tell y'all, they're not scared, man. They're not scared. It's- Friends never want to talk about that sick win. Of course not, because I had real sick two one. And you know what? And I feel like uh, what Twerk did versus Swamp, he really was battling for reactions. And like you know, even though there was, it wasn't the same reactions that he's used to. You know what I'm saying? Like when you Twerk, he loves to perform a, a, in front of a crowd. Yeah, he loves. I energy. think just like a lot of vets had to realize with this bubble and this caffeine. Like you're you, you know you gotta you gotta write without receiving a reaction. You gotta be comfortable to know that I'm gonna keep punching, 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 or whatever. And even if I don't hear something, I know it's fire. Jeremy says we forget about the Chilla and Danny battle that Twerk had. Both of those have crowds. Those are, those are not comparable. Those both have crowds. What's gonna happen when there's no crowd? There's nobody else to cheer. It's just smack. You you don't think smack's gonna say yo Twerk? You're not getting an audience for your first battle back. It's gonna be you, me, and Nightwing. I don't know. I, I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat saying it's gonna it's gonna be gas. The gas station gonna be. Nah, oh, it, in my opinion, in my jumping. opinion, I, I mean, I could be wrong. Of course, if we could, we could all be wrong here, but I think URL is gonna say, "Yo, Twerk, you have not had a battle with no audience. Like Twerk's done it. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, DNA's done it. Geechee's done it. Mook's done it. Lux's done it. Surf's done it. Rue's Cal- done it. Rum has done it. Like every like, Verb's done it. Calico's ladies, done everybody's it. Everybody's been doing it. Every, last year, everybody's so, had yeah, a ain't battle. No favoritism over here. Every Rock's done it. Everybody's had a battle with zero audience. You're not getting an audience on your return. And that's you that. think it's gonna okay? So <laughs> let's be honest, because I don't know if DNA is DNA ready. Uh, well, hang in tight, but he has the link. Okay. Wait for him. If they, if we see Twerk and Jay walk, you know, to face, and we see people behind, how's that gonna make y'all feel? Would y'all, would how's that gonna make y'all feel? I'm curious. So if you see Twerk and Jay walking out there, and you see that there's people behind them. How is that gonna make you feel? Do you feel like that's some that's bullshit? Do you like what France was saying? Like he shouldn't get a little crowd or whatever, or do you feel like he should do what Easy said about Top? Like ain't no ain't gonna be no crowd. Ain't, he ain't gonna have no. It's gonna be just me and Top. Period. I ain't nobody like, gonna be in that room. I but, feel like uh, that's what's make Easy so special. That Easy's been smoking these people on caffeine with no crowd. We did to Cortez. <laughs> What Easy did to Cortez, there wasn't a single soul in that room, and we all felt Cortez dying. What he did to T Top, there wasn't a single soul around him, and we felt the competitive nature. I, look, Twerk has to come back to no crowd. That's just my opinion. He has to come back to no crowd, 
And he has to come back and captivate that. But then I'm concerned if he doesn't have a crowd, is he going to be sucking his teeth in between bars? Is he going to be a little choppy? That's the thing. Is he going to have a good flow? I I have not seen that. That's my asterisk as to, like, me picking Twerk because the one time I seen him perform in the bubble, he had it, it, it looked like he had a hard time. Like, he felt like he, he landed a bar and he looking around to see what people are. It's like, stop looking around and just battle. You can't wait for people to be like, oh, yeah, good, good job. Keep, keep going. Like, stop looking for reaction. And he's not the only battle rapper that do that. But, you know, it's definitely very noticeable when it's in a small, small, small room like the bubble. Like, you got to just keep going. You got to be confident into, with your material. You got to be confident. You know what I'm saying? You can't see the chat going crazy. You got to be confident and focused. And I don't know if Twerk is there yet in this setting. I hope so. Because we all want to see, look, we we all want to see Twerk come back into his greatness. I wait for DNA to pull up. He said he's about to join the show right now. He's not there yet, CJC. Well, I think Twerk's first round is going to be insane. I mean, it has no choice Twerk's but to be right. First round will be insane, and I think he that everybody probably is going to give him that first round. I'm Tata you asked now. a question. Tata says Twerk. Twerk has had no clean battles in four years. Well, you can confirm that Twerk has had a choke every single year since 2017. 2017, 18, 19, and 20. What's the CPR? 42%. Nasty. Bro, that's pretty high, bro. That's almost half. That's horrendous. That's almost (laughs) half, bro. CJ, am I saying it right, CJ? Almost half? It's 42% almost half? 42%. That's better. I, I appreciate like, that. Like, if I went to my job and I had only 42% of the overall market shares, which is views and, like, ratings, I will be fired <laughs> immediately. Sue Surf Lord says that's, say, that's, oh, a, no, we need Sue Surf Lord says that's a coin that's flip crazy. CPR. That is a coin flip, damn near. You know what I'm saying? Um that's crazy. This it's it is kind of cra- and listen, check this out. This doesn't really? include this this doesn't include any small league battles. So you can just imagine This is just URL. This is just the, URL. So if you guys Y'all it, favorite battle rap league, the one that y'all always put a lot of extra sauce on and every time we talk about other leagues, y'all ain't nobody can nobody watch no shit. Nobody cares about it. But look, Cece, that's why I, I said the other day all choke, <laughs> all, all, all chokes are not equal because Saga has only choked twice in his URL career and he's like being banished. Meanwhile, Twerk has choked half and we can't wait for him to return to a volume. You know what? All chokes are not equal. I think Saga should just take a little bit of a break. Hey, Don't you know be what? too we hard on we, yourself. We didn't, talk about, married, Kid, we didn't talk about Kid Chaos make and Saga. Sure that your, your wife-to-be is a bridezilla and that she gets everything that she wants for this wedding. You heard, Go Cece? on the honeymoon. We, we didn't talk about Kid Chaos and Saga. Let's talk about that for a minute before DNA gets on. Which... Ain't nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I... man. My uh, heart. That hurt. My heart is just broken at this point. <laughs> I don't want no. That's what I'm saying. Saga, just focus on your your wedding, your your wife to be, the honeymoon, and then when you get off that hunt, when you come back off that honeymoon, then come back and be on kill mode again. Let me read these messages. K Chaos two O over the horseman. A Ward and Loso better do something. Says the update guy. Saga needs to stop beating himself. Y'all want to know what happened? I'm gonna tell you. Saga's first was actually pretty good. Little Reggie says it the walking contradiction was fire. G String says Chaos tore the skin off his ass. I'm, oh, I never heard some shit like that before. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, that was very uh, graphic. That was graphic. That was freaky. Freak 
kicking off his ass. Like, <laughs> Yo, y'all too much in here, man. Let's get DNA on, man. Let me get the champ in the building. That's a bad sword. <laughs> That that was not okay, man. That was too much. Oh, I love y'all, I swear. Uh, I love y'all too here. Yo, DNA, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear y'all. What's the word? Oh man. What up, Joe? This is a man that needs no introduction. This is a man that has over a hundred battles on his catalog and still finds ways to improve. This is a man that is multi uh, featured ambidextrous with his skill set because not only is he a battle rapper, he has his own show on caffeine, he's in the media game, he has his merch going on, he's got multiple hustles. This is a guy that represents multiple streams of income and just put on a fantastic URL headliner over the weekend. Mr. DNA, the champ, or formerly known as Gary, welcome to the show. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this nigga France is crazy, man. Don't call me Gary. What's up? <laughs> Your that boy, wasn't a good man. intro up until the yeah, end every, uh, everything up until Gary man my name is not Gary shout out to Gary though that's whoever's name is Gary I know they upset yeah, my name is not Gary. champ uh, good, good weekend um, good job over the weekend great performance um, how you feeling man nah I feel great you know I feel like um, I did exactly what I wanted to do I really wanted to uh show people after the Lou Castro battle that, like, that wasn't a one-time thing or that wasn't because it was a rookie. Like, I'm going to really elevate in this time that we in COVID to, uh, you know, step my pen up, step my angles up, my breakdowns up, everything. I just, you know what I'm saying? I want to use – I want I want to be – I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, feel like I could reach where my potential is at now that we don't have to be worrying about, you know, a crowd interfering with how layer or how in-depth we can get. You, 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 no gun bar DNA is becoming my favorite DNA. I love it because like, yeah, you, you can make a living off the gun bars. In fact, you had a career high performance a few years ago with it against Mickey Fax. But now it's like, you're doing something to truly test yourself. And Mm -hmm. I feel like it's almost, I feel like some, there's a lot of people that are appreciating it. And there's a lot of people that are still like not seeing the vision, but I'm also seeing a lot of people that will admit they're like, I wasn't a DNA fan, but I'm becoming one now. You seeing a lot yeah. of that? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of that. I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying, I, I couldn't get with DNA, but now this new shit that he's on, I'm definitely a fan. Henny Man said that. He said that yesterday on the recap show. But um, for the people that's not seeing it, it's not for them because you know how it goes. No matter what you do to some people, it's just never going to be enough. They're never going to be uh, – uh, they're never – they're never gonna be satisfied with um, you know what I'm saying, with with, with what you're doing. So you gotta you can't do it for them. Cause you know, it's just certain people, if somebody don't like you, it wouldn't really matter what you're doing, they're just not gonna like you. So that's what I'm saying. I still see people write like, you know, DNA's not believable. Okay, so 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 what what are you not believing? I'm not talking about guns. Like when you say something like that, it's like it's over. It's like nothing to talk about at that point. CC, I know you 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 got to see you were you were dissecting some of the compilations that people were making online from DNA's bars, the casino, some of the other yeah, the, the, the movie bars. And, and I was like, yeah, I definitely caught the casino bars, but I definitely the Brox Tale ones <laughs> went over my head. But uh, yeah, just kind of definitely tell more people about like how you decided to attack this battle with Geechee, because again, everybody's still kind of getting used to your new flow and your new way of battling without the gun bars but do you feel like did you have reservations to to go back to the OU battling somebody like Geechee who is known as you know streets and all that stuff uh definitely not that that made me more so you still you still with us uh oh <clears throat> move around, move around. Yeah, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. He's still here. Don't worry. He's still here. And we lost him. Yo, yep, no, we, yo, right, yo. He's back. He's back. We, we hear my you. My fault. My fault. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm on a roll. I hate when this happens. I wish I would have been. I forgot all about. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What I was saying to answer your question, CC, is no. That made me want to do it more because I knew he was going to try to paint the narrative that it's not even about rapping more so of perception and i wanted to make it just about rapping because that's what we're doing we battle rapping that's why i started the round off 
my first round went off. This is the problem in battle rap. And y'all became more concerned with how a nigga looks physically than what he says lyrically. Like, <laughs> let's not let's not get confused Facts. on what this is. This is rapping. So he can't rap with me. So that that was that that's all I was trying to display. And um, yeah, after Luke Castro, I wasn't gonna because it's not a gimmick for me. Like a lot of people think, like you just said, France, like I said this on the show yesterday, but I'm gonna reiterate it. Like a lot of people felt like, all right, well, DNA stopped talking about guns for us. It's like, why would I do that? If I've had a illustrious career, I got on ESPN, BET, the rap game, shit with uh, wrestling, with talking about guns. So it was never a reason for me to stop. My money continued to grow. My name continued to prosper by doing that. I stopped because it was a, a personal thing of, fuck if this is entertainment or not. Fuck if y'all believe it or not. It's like, that's just not the energy I, I, I want to put out if that's not what I want to happen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people are hypocritical. You'll say, yo, man, I don't want people to die or... I don't want niggas to get robbed, but then you, but then you'll post things that's inviting people to rob you or that's putting that type of energy in the atmosphere. So I mm. just chose not to be one of those people anymore. Like, yo, whatever I really truly believe in my heart, I'm going to display that in everything I do. And the people that like it, like it. And the people that don't, don't. And um, that was even like into the material. Like I knew right and all that, you're not going to catch everything. Like even to remember in that scene that uh, he took out a saw first before he... uh beat him in the hand or beat his right hand with the hammer like mm -hmm. every little detail is to the T that I'm tailoring but that's why I said in this yes. era I want to write I want to write like that because when you watch it back I want you to be able to catch it every time you watching it then you know what I'm saying I feel like in the crowd I was just there to like win in the building because I don't want the narrative to be painted of oh you lost but now with COVID it's like one we watching it from home and then when it drops on the app it's there forever so I don't want something to be like, I just got that mindset now. Like, I don't want something to be somewhere forever and you could figure it out by the first time you're watching it. Like, I'd rather you three years later still feel like, oh, and he said that too? Oh, and he did that? So that's kind of how I've been writing, like, with the Lou Castro battle and with this one. See, the beauty of it, though, people probably are kind of missing is that you were a guy that would always dominate in the building but would have to deal with, oh, but on cam or overtime exactly. or his material. And it's like, yeah, so what? Like, that that, that does like you can argue that, but we know how we felt in the moment. Now you're trying to create that same feeling in the moment but also win over time. See, and, and that's that's my favorite thing about your DNA. You you never stay compli complicit with with, with – areas of, of uh, your battle rap career. You try to find ways to fill every single hole and, and improve. And, it, and, and you know, you said something about, like, you trying to win the building so the narrative doesn't spread. Can we talk a little bit about how loosely the word <laughs> narrative is used in battle rap? Like, you're posting clips of your battle because people are sending you clips to digest your bars. That's the purpose, right? Like, this is your art. Yeah. You want people to understand it, the intricacies of it. And then people were saying, oh, you're posting this because you felt like you lost. Or you're posting this trying to convince us you won. Like, no, I'm just trying to show my art to you. Yeah, but you know what's so crazy about that is like I would get if that changes. If you notice, like every time I battle, whether it's been a win or a loss, I always used to post my material. Now that it's became more intricate, I just posted it with Lou. Everyone said I won. It was no need for me to, you know what I'm saying? Like I think in this situation it's kind of fifty fifty, uh, you know, just off a of, uh, live. But in the last situation, it was like ninety to ten and I still was posting the breakdowns because it's like, nigga, I'm not doing it for you not to get it like so for the people that are understanding and sending it to me like yo i made this clip because i got it i'm like all right let me show you love um and post it and also let me show everybody all the shit that i know y'all probably missed because that there's shit everywhere in it like i know and then what i also wanted to tell people too is like i got to a point where now i'm not really um i'm not battling people and saying shit that's not true mm -hmm. so that's why like I, it was no exactly like so that's the other thing with me is like if y'all want, that's why I ask people in the third, like, what is your definition of real? He's heard things about Harry, and now it's created a um an angle with what happened with uh you know me and Harry, which is cool. But what I'm saying is, unless you spoke to me or spoke to Harry, you wouldn't know the details. Prime example. Now let's fast forward to me. I don't know what happened with you and Coffee, but I'm not about to sit here and make up what happened either. That's why I just said the truth. Of course, he had a breakdown without coffee. You need caffeine to function. All that shit was happening around the same time. So that's why I'm like, what what, what do y'all define as real? Do y'all define as y'all want to be entertained? Cool. Because if we're talking about being real, everything I said in there was real. Like, I didn't just force Rum Nitty to be his friend and say your right hand. I didn't force a casino scheme. His group is called the Mafia. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right. saying I only right. I only brought up I only brought up wrestling and belts because Calico had a song called WWF and Geechee was promoting it and Geechee Gotti is the champion. This is what I'm saying. Like everywhere we go all, with everything that I'm in. saying. That's what I'm saying. Every, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even when I'm mentioning uh the the Will Smith shit, that shit all ties in with the champion, with the belt, them from Philly, him from the West Coast. So it's like I didn't want to say, and that's just me, because I know people are gonna digest it how they want, but I'm just saying for me, like when we talk about being real, I think that's defined, people have it as one, but it's defined in multiple ways. Cause like now, even with Lou, like I wasn't gonna say, I wasn't gonna just use a Hulk scheme to do it. I only did that because he said he's wild strong. So I'm just, everything I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to make sure it's like, not only is it just for the person I'm battling, but then on the flip side, what makes it crazy to me is that it's true. Like I'm not just gonna say, all right, well, Fuck it, man. I'm gonna just put these shits together because it's the Hulk and he's wild strong. Like, nah. Aside from that, people said that he had to style first before twerk. So it's like I made everything go with, what, with where it's going. I have nothing but respect for Geechee. He's had one of the most amazing historic runs in battle rap. But lately, when he battles like on URL, like between clips, uh, goods, and yourself, there's one thing he says it does that I don't agree with. Where he's like clowning his opponent for battle rapping or like saying they rely on smack or like they battle too much or like yeah you you here on url you you need daddy smack it's like geechee nobody battles more than you bro nope literally nobody what? battles more than you you literally battle yeah, you want, once a month you for the last crazy? three years you cannot but, criticize anybody else for battling but yo listen though friends <laughs> this is why i say this is the beauty of battle rap because <laughs> because it's like yo battle rap is so subjective that it's like nothing you could do, you gotta laugh. You literally like, and I'm not taking nothing from him. He had the fastest rise in battle rap. He's one of the greatest uh, b- battle rappers out right now. But it's like, you just heard me sit there and tell you, yo, I'm not talking about guns, da 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 da. And then you still go crazy when he says, being there, you're not about that life. And now y'all, y'all defense is, oh, well, you think you just wiped that away for two battles? You've been talking about it. So, if some so somebody has been eating bad and they decide to eat good and lose weight, you're gonna hold them from all the years that they ate bad. Like, no, I'm not gonna let you lose weight. I'm not gonna let you change your diet because you've been eating bad your whole life. It's like what lot like that's why I don't go back because it just be like, what logic do niggas come from? Like, <laughs> even when they say yo, GT uh negated DNA's round with the Joe Biden shit, it'd be like in my mind, I'm like, this is why I'm like, I'm not arguing, because it's like I clearly said, uh, we both panda express. That means pander. Like, we both have done things, you know what I'm saying, to get certain places, but it's certain things you should take out for a family. So it's like everything he's saying back to me, I'm like, I think I said said this already. I'm like, all right, cool. So it just really comes to a point of I like this battle with DT because it really defines battle rap so it can never get it twisted, that people have people winning battles before niggas rap. And they just base mm. on that person doing what they want them to do so they can say they won before they battle. So whoever had me winning before we got there, I won already. Whoever had him winning, they won. Because what I'm looking at is like, all right, no disrespect like you said, friends, but I've seen way better Geechee's. If you're a fan of Geechee, you can't sit there and tell me like, yeah, that's the best Geechee I've seen to confidently say, oh, I think he won. Like, even in terms of like the stumbles, the preparation, and then if we go off of like, the one key fact I think people are forgetting is, right? And I'm going to just leave you just at this and not say nothing else. We both had two weeks. That's what he came up with in two weeks, and that's what I came up in two weeks. Mm. You came up with that casino, Bronx Tales, and everything? Look, that's crazy. So that, that's I, Like I said, I got I to gotta watch y'all battle again because when I seen that tweet, I was like, oh, <laughs> I missed a lie. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you know what it is, though? I feel like from being on the other side, that's why I don't knock it because I battled Chilla Jones and in the building I was saying simple shit like, nah, this is what y'all can't believe, this is what Boston markets, all that, and I won. Nigga said I destroyed I destroyed Chilla. And when it came out, it was like, even I'm looking at it like, well, if they're gonna say I won, fuck it. But <laughs> I I don't know. This nigga's getting crazy. So I understand how it goes in the moment because you're just gonna go with what's easier to dodge. Well, you do so, you do uh, have another battle in two weeks. You do have Av. Um, talk yeah, to us a little bit about 
uh, the conversation with finally locking in this Av battle because I know it's it's been multiple times supposed to happen. The top of last year, summer madness, or it couldn't happen your daughter's birthday. Uh, maybe sometime again, uh, the end of 2020. But now it's finally here, and now you're battling Av two weeks after battling Geechee. I, it, like you know, it's been a while since you've battled this quickly. Um, it's almost it's giving me a little bit of flashback of like you battling Prez Mafia and Ill Will back to back, even though the the caliber of opponents is way different. Yeah, I mean, but at that time, the caliber was kind of close, Prince. It was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, name-wise, no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this caliber, yeah, these two is definitely high. The only reason why I'm saying that is because L. Will was that nigga. So that's yeah, who yeah. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, like, really, I just wanted to really clear the battles that I feel like was lingering around so we could get to something new. Like, the Geechee thing, even though we don't got the same style, just over what happened on BT, it was kind of lingering around. Mm-hmm. So I kind of wanted to get that out the way. And then Av, it's like every time it's supposed to happen, it doesn't. And wild people be ducking Av. That's so it's fact. like, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want my name associated in that category. Like, I'm saying, um, I'm, I'm with I'm with all the smoke. So I'm like, yeah, let's just make this happen. And then I'm looking at like, in terms of what I'm trying to do, the bar I'm trying to set, I'm like, yo, if I'm able to put on a1 performances with both of them in a two-week span, two battles in one month against two of the top guys. Like that just sets my 2021 off in a in a great regard in terms of battle rap. So that's why I was like, I'm up for the challenge. Let me challenge myself so I can make sure I really, you know what I'm saying, get in my bag. Cause I feel like in terms of lyricism, this one is a thousand times tougher than Shoot, it looked like you on your way for a champion of the year type year. I'm I mean saying. you're starting off with Geechee. Now you got F. I mean, who else? Um, I don't know if you've already said this on your show, but who else is you looking at as far as a battle in 2021? Uh, I don't even know. I just, like, after F, I kind of really see what the people just uh, because that's kind of like the two that I feel like uh, a bunch of people were saying. Like, it was it was Geechee, Av, and Lux. Geechee, Av, and So I kind of kind of said that in the Vixen battle, too, <clears throat> ended my round. When I said I came back to be battling, I'm about to have one. And then, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that third one can happen at some time in 2021. Yeah, I'm 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 on the campaign for you versus Lux or you versus Mook. Uh we, we need that already. There's no reason why on paper it shouldn't happen. Um I, I don't even need to get into it, but like it just needs to happen already. You know what I'm saying? DNA is more than deserving of one of those plates. Or if any industry guys feel the need to come in and have a death wish. You know, if King Lose, mm. if King Lose is feeling froggy, I still want to see DNA. Mm. You know, smoke King Lose. Ooh. Yeah. You know, I, I need. Yeah. I, I definitely need a big, big matchup for you. You deserve a mega match. That's for sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way you're talking, friends. Yeah, we can do any of those. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Well, you know, you. This is nothing new to you. Every time you have a performance. Um, you do really well. It has a lot of high claims. There's also a lot of haters ready to discredit the the battle. And you've been through this multiple, multiple times. Somebody right now is going through this in his young career. His name is Saint, who just won the Grand Prix over the weekend. You know, he won the Grand Prix beating two legends. And I'm seeing people like, yeah, it's King of the Dot. Yeah, Disaster's not that good anymore. Yeah, uh, these legends are washed up. Uh, he's not as good as the URL rookies. Like, no matter what in battle rap, you win and it still comes with, like, some kind of critically acclaimed slander. Is this unavoidable? Is there yeah. no performance that's like un like it cannot be criticized? Nah, it's just battle rap is like high school, man. They got who they like and they got who they don't. So it can never get over it because it's like, you know what I'm saying? If it's somebody that they like, they'll find a way to, you know, line things up to make it make sense and if it's somebody that they don't they'll take that same method and line things up for it not to make sense so you know what i'm saying in that regard if it was somebody else that one that they liked they would have found a way to make make it make sense like oh no but da 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 and then um they would have had everybody like yo yeah that's true but since it's you know saint and they probably he was like favorably the underdog and i guess you know they wanted another story to be painted it's like now such and such is not that good but he was just the legend when they was going to battle. Like, that always happens. So, that's the crazy part with battle rap. But, yeah, um, 
I didn't get to watch it because I was on the way traveling back home. But uh, I heard I heard it was a a, a great battle and uh, debatable. Uh, I, I think like either way or whatever. I heard that about Real Deal and Sharon too. But uh, yeah, shout out to all four of them gentlemen and uh, shout out to Saint for winning that bread. That that's a great accomplishment, especially like I think in like one of his first few years of battle rap. So yeah, Sharon took a page out your book. He went no gun bars, no gun bar Sharon. So hilarious! That's fire. <laughs> you but, started a movement, DNA. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't think I really started a movement because there's a lot of people doing it before. But I think you know, because of, I guess my name in the game is going to be put at the forefront now. Of like none, because I've seen people do not too many. But I'm literally talking about these last two battles, and this shit was difficult. I did none. You know what I'm saying? And, and when people, because I've I seen a narrative too of like, oh, DNA started doing this with Mook. And it's like, people don't understand Vixen was October 17th. Only, only my first round for her was the only one that had gun bars because I was like, I don't really want to just segue all the way. So I kind of wanted to give people what they was used to seeing. But my second and third, it had none too. Right. So it, it's like, since I returned, I really haven't been on that like that. And, um, if I could go back, I'd have made the first without him now, too. So I'd have mm. just said, fuck it. But I kind of was like, <laughs> I kind of was still nervous about doing it. So that's why I was on the fence of which I'm going to still give him one round. But I do yeah. feel like it's, it, it does have a massive push to your pen because, like, I think about, like, the, the Christian shots of the Four Horsemen. They try to not write gun bars, but they laugh because they're like, yo, gun bars are so easy, but we, we try to avoid these, right? And then you got a guy like Rum Nitty who is literally a gun line every line. If Rum Nitty says, <laughs> I'm not doing gun bars for a whole battle, I'm going to be like, whoa, what's this going to look like? Or somebody like Franchise. Do you think we ever see an event where everybody's like, no gun bars for the entire event? Like, that would like, really be a full display of lyricism right there. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think, we, I think if that was to happen, we would get some of the best content ever because everybody will have to push themselves to do it. Like, of course, though, right? I don't want to see Rum Nitty never do it because that's what he does. He does that very well. Like, he, he's one of the few people that can, you, you can say that every line, but the punchline is so creative that you don't even care that that's what it is. So he got to keep doing it. But I feel like just to challenge himself because he's, he's done that so long, if he was able to go one without doing it at all, that shit would be phenomenal. Oh my goodness! I'd be weird. It'd be, it'd be it different. It'd be weird but, but, that but you, not one gun bar. But you know what it is, though. He would have to do that in a situation of battling somebody where, you know, what I'm saying he he wouldn't be able to take the gun approach. So to see him do it, it, it would depend on who. Like prime example, if he never battled Iron and then he battled Iron and put him down that whole battle, that would be crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like in that situation, you know, Iron is a writer. So it'd be like, all right, let me show you. I'm going to put these down and still get crazy. But like on a regular film to do that, no, I don't want to see him do that. Yeah. I enjoy the gun bars. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> no, we all do. We all, we, we all love them. We all love them. But yeah. when they, when they, when you realize how difficult it is when it's not around, like you're almost like you're almost trained to hear it. And then when you hear three rounds without it, you go, there was not a single gun bar in, in that battle. You go, oh shit. Yeah, really? I don't think everybody can do it as good as I don't think everybody will have as much success with that as DNA. I think some people might need that. And some people yeah, are just comfortable with it. You know, like DNA now, like you said, versus Vixen, you gave us one round because you were still not comfortable yet. Like yeah. now it looks like you're comfortable doing it. Yeah, so exactly. I don't, think exactly. I don't think everybody else will be able to have that same success though. As long as I'm going Yeah, and if I like, well, actually with Geechee, I, I had one, but it really wasn't one. It was more so of like, like, like I'm telling you what could happen. It was though, but it was a good one. So nobody's gonna really count it. It was the uh, uh, the shit from above the rim, like Bugaloo, the ones you least. It's always the ones you least expect to take the birdie of. Mm-hmm. So it was like, that was one, but it wasn't, nobody would classify it as that. It was more like a real type of statement. But, yeah, that shit is definitely challenging. That's why after I have a chill, because I feel like I, I, I racked my brain of coming up with so many lines without them that I got to chill so I could, you know what I'm saying, catch a new window of what to do. Oh, man. Champ, man. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. We're, we're going to wrap things up a bit early on our side. Um, and we love the fact that you always take the craft so seriously. You promo your show, Primetime, uh, us over here. 
you know, you, 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 you always understand that there's a battle before the battle, in the battle, and afterwards, you know, so it's something I wish everybody could take from you. No, that's a fact. Good looking for having me. Yeah, we're going to be, uh, yeah, that shit is next week, next Saturday. Next Saturday. Are you going to do a face-off with Av on your show, or are you just going to wait? Yeah, I'm going to do a drunk face-off with Av. Yeah, wait, 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 can we talk about that before you get out of here? You've cornered the face-off market. Every every single time somebody's done a face-off on your show, the battles happened, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't missed yet. You know what I'm saying? We we we, we originated um uh B Dot and Shug. That's how that shit got going. Literally every single face off on your show has become a, a book battle. You're almost cornering Jay Black's market. I like this. Uh, <laughs> no, I love Jay Black. I love Jay Black, man. I ain't trying to take his job. I'm just trying to, you know, add spice to it. But yeah, I definitely want to do the drunk face off with me and have. I think that's. I'm, I'm here yes. for it. Yeah. I'm here I'm for it. I'm here that. for yeah. it. We might have for to start the show late, friends, because I got to see the whole thing. The whole oh, that time. happens. We're starting thirty minutes late. We're, we're definitely yeah. we're definitely starting thirty All right, minutes late. Down. All right, so I hit y'all. Um, I, I hit to, I, I hit you in the DM, friends. Once I can put it together, because I hit him. I'm waiting for him to hit me back. Champ, it's always a pleasure, my brother. All right, got you. Peace out. Yeah. Salute to DNA, man. He uh, yes. he's, he's a great CC. He's he's one of the greatest, and he's still doing this the way he does. Look, I'm here for the drunk DNA versus drunk app. <laughs> Face off. It's gonna be loud. He's gonna be passionate, <laughs> and they gonna talk spicy. I'm here for it. Yeah, man. Salute to everybody rocking with us. Uh, LTBR Daily. We're gonna close things up a little bit early. Talk to here. me as a as a man. As a man. As a man. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping to see DNA take this Gary thing and flip it. Look, he it, he might he still he it's still kind of new right now, and I you know I think he, he he not feeling the Gary slander. He not feeling the Gary jokes right now. Yo, man, uh, yeah, that's what a lot of people that that was everybody's takeaway from the battle was Gary. Your name, Gary. It's like wait a minute, really? <laughs> this is all you remember? Like this is all you remember? Like this. It's like when Luke Castro told Kid Chaos, your your mom's tits is tittying, and everybody laughed. And it's like, really? We're going to remember that your mom's tits is tittying over that's, all that's of... That's all, all we all, took from a battle. Out of, out of all of Kid Chaos' intricacies? You know what? It is what it is, man. We'll be back that's tomorrow said, morning. We'll be back tomorrow morning for the CC show, CC solo broadcast in the morning. Yes. Yes, so we're going to talk about everything. If anybody's talking spicy today... Leading up to tomorrow, you know, we're going to talk about it. So, definitely pull up. Thank you for the props. 10.30. I'm, I, I be on, I'm going to be on time. 10.30. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Yes. All right, everybody. Thank you for always rocking with us and tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow. Peace, y'all. Be safe.